I have risen from the sickness. I, um, well that was awkward, I didn't really know where I was going with that. Hello everybody! <laughs> I'm back, I'm back. Sorry for all the delays lately. Oh my goodness, I promise this week we should be right back on with our regularly scheduled programming. Oh, it's been too long since I've uh, done this. And uh, actually been that long, it's been like two days, but I'm so out of it. So let's just skip the intro and go right into it. Am I right or am I right? Seven. <gasps> That's the one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better now and um... Two of you said you would join the Discord server. So, I mean, I guess I'll, I'll make one. I'll let you know when that gets sorted out and we'll go from there. Alright, the next day at the office, Lisa provides us with the post-release assignments. In my case, I have to write out the bonus content that we promised to release at a later date. Interesting, bonus content, very cool. Things are calmer now that the party is over, but there's still a lot left to do around the office. Well, the party was over, like, a day ago, but, you know, whatever. Ah, my girls, there they are. Girls. Yes. <laughs> Sankara, get those scripts to me as soon as you can. We don't have any time to waste. Alexis, your job is to make more promotional illustrations and complete the additional storefront graphics. This is quite different. Alexis sighs and shrugs, silently turning away from her boss. Oof, why? <laughs> yeah, whatever. All you care about is the game. The game this, the game that. We are at work again. Seriously, girl, like, come on. <laughs> Mayu, I'm sorry that you have a lot to do. There are a lot of bugs that need fixing, and the UI requires some reworking based on user feedback, but I mean, really, that's that's your fault to begin with, so... Can't... you know, that's, that's your bad. <laughs> the majority of the game's criticism is directed towards how distracting the bugs are, so you should get those taken care of as soon as possible. Again, that's, you know, she wrote it, so her bug's her problem. <laughs> sorry, but... I know bugs happen, of course, of course, but... Hmm, okay. Overall, the reviews for the game aren't as good as expected. Quite frankly, we're nowhere near close to meeting the sales numbers we expected for this title. Uh, again, huh? There have even been complaints about the art being inconsistent at times, and most notably, the story's plot twist. Whoops, that was me! Come to think of it, the minigame also needs revision. Why is there a minigame? What minigame? THE minigame! <laughs> What mini? Why is there only one mini game? I'm so confused. What is this game? <sighs> I don't know how things ended up this way. Anyway, the point is everyone needs to do their best so we can push this title back into the green. Sounds like a plan to me, boss. Oh, please. You're blowing things out of proportion. I'm sure the reviews aren't as bad as you make them sound. I mean, everyone here knows that all you care about is the money. Whoa. What? What? Like, what is she cra- why is this Alexis back? Like, what is she crapping on about? Seriously, that's so annoying. Alexis, you're in no position to criticize me. You should have put more effort into keeping the artwork's quality as consistent as possible. Yeah, that's true. Like, she might be being harsh, but it's true. Oh, Mayu suddenly steps between the women, visibly nervous. Nani? Guys, please. Let's not argue it, okay? We should all get back to work. We have a lot of problems to fix. Aw, love Mayu. Thank you, Mayu. I couldn't agree more. We need to get everything finished quickly. I don't want to see any one of you slack off today. You got it, boss. Anything for you, boss. Whatever you say, boss. I haven't called her boss in a long time. Oh, boss. <laughs> yeah, bringing me back, bringing me back. Lisa promptly heads for her office, leaving the rest of us in an awkward half circle. I would think it was more of a triangle, but okay. Oh, that somehow reminds me, um, I'll also be finishing Emily Wants to Play this week as well. That should be probably playing it tomorrow? Yeah. Whatever. I don't want anyone to bother me today. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Alexis stomps towards her desk. You should get back to work too, Sankara. We don't want to make Lisa upset again, do we? Well, no. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, Mayu. 
See you later. Man, Mayu's the best so far. She's chill at home and at the workplace. After diligently working through the morning, I decide to check up on Mayu. She has the most post-release assignments to finish after all. Fair enough. Too bad I know not much at all about programming. I mean, I can make snap. Kind of. I don't even remember how to do that, to be honest. Peppered around the edges of her cubicle are a strange assortment of horrifying looking trinkets and black and yellow and blue keychains. Sounds awesome. Have you never been to her workplace before? What? <laughs> Small dolls wearing masks are laid out on the counter and her desk calendar has red ink scrolled across every single weekday. As you do, yeah. Fair enough. The more I stare at the ornaments surrounding her desk, the more creeped out I become. Come to think of it, this is the first time I've seen her workplace, how can that be possible? Eh, whatever. I mean, that sounds pretty cool, she sounds like my type of girl. But I feel like this is how they're gonna try and ruin her, but... Oh, that's the sound of typing. Someone's typing, I'm probably Mayu. I peer over Mayu's shoulder to find her engrossed in rewriting a line of code. I hate when that happens. Typing frantically to the point that her fingernails are clacking against the keyboard. I'd actually put it on the keyboard, but then I might press something that I'm not supposed to press, and yeah. Over and over again, she erases and rewrites a huge strings of code. Um, Mayu, are you okay? The woman completely ignores me and continues to employ her deranged methodology to perfect her work. Mayu, maybe you should take a break. The brunette only leans closer to her monitor, leaving her face inches away from the screen because that'll help you type. She types even faster, suddenly erasing and rewriting several lines I saw her work on mere moments ago. Maybe you should leave her alone and let her focus. She is on it, come on. Concerned, I immediately jog towards Lisa's office in sense of help. In seek of help. Jogging. <laughs> uh, that's just what came to mind. It's just, hmm, concerned. Lisa! Sorry to interrupt, but <laughs> I need you for a moment. What is it, Sinkara? It's Mayu. She seems, she seems, she seems. She shall, she shall, she shall, she shall. She seems to be having some trouble with the code. She keeps undoing all of her work, and I'm worried about her. Okay, let's see what's going on. Just, you know, wait, do any of you know about coding? Like, do you know what you're doing? What? <laughs> the two of us walk to Mayu's desk, and Lisa gently touches the brunette soldier to show- Soldier, her soldier, the brunette soldier. We're all Lisa's soldiers, but the brunette has soldiers too. Her shoulders to get her attention. Are you doing okay? Mayu turns around to face Lisa. Things are going fine. Why don't you, why don't I help you for a bit? You seem a bit tired. Do you know how to code? Okay. Despite the conflict in the brunette's expression, she stands up and allows her boss to sit down. Nice. Within minutes, Lisa finishes the code, sitting back with satisfaction to show off her rewritten solution. Good on you, Lisa, eh? Woohoo! There, that should do it. Nice. Mayu has another seizure as she leans closer to check <laughs> as she leans over to check the work, but frowns and shakes her head uncontrollably, as if there's something terribly wrong with it. She's possessed, that's all. No need, no need to panic. It, it's not elegant, not perfect. I completely, I understand, I feel that. That is a big vibe, big mood. What do you mean it's not perfect? It doesn't have any errors anymore, does it? <sighs> She's saying the code isn't written as efficiently as it can be. Yeah, but like, if it works, it works, is also my kind of thing. <laughs> not good, not good, not good. Aww, oh, not good, not good. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. My, the reality is, no one cares how clever, inventive, or elegant code is, as long as it works. Yep. And as you can see, it functions perfectly well. There's no need to redo it. No, you don't get it. She might die if she doesn't do it perfectly. The demon that's making her head shake will kill her. Uh, I want to change it again. Uh, I don't like it at all. <sighs> well, just like, I don't know, whatever. In a practical frenzy, the woman begins to cry, teetering around on her feet until Lisa gives her the chin. <laughs> that's, that's cute, but like, come on, calm down. <laughs> 
Leave her alone. She needs a moment to cool down. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. I shall get back to work. Is this my desk? Because it looks more like a... A Lexus's thing, what, with it having art on it and all, and an art tablet, and three monitors, and like, I'm just a writer. What? Why does any of this matter to me? And what is going on on the screen to my right? Like, I'm so confused. And up there, are they playing Sims now? What happened? Although I have my doubts, I follow Lisa's lead and return to my desk for the time being. I swear I've never done any work, this is just constantly what my computer looks like. When lunchtime rolls around, I stop by my station to ensure she's holding up. She's still sitting at her desk, idly staring at the screen. Well, good on you. Mayu, are you going to have lunch with us? She doesn't answer nor turn to face me, and her eyes remain glued to the computer. At least I won't have to go through the awkward feeding each other scene again, goodness me. Come on. <coughs> Sorry, choked on my milkshake. <laughs> Terribly sorry about that. <laughs> Come on. And we should get going. <laughs> <Ugh. coughs> Come on. We should get going. You can get back to work after you've eaten. The brunette gives no reaction whatsoever. She's used to not eating. Oof. She's as lifeless as her doll collection. Yeah, dolls are pretty creepy. Uh, well, I'm going now. I hope you'll come along when you're ready. I hope so too. I skip down the stairs and convene with Lisa and Alexis, who are already in line. Howdy, ladies. Where's Mayu? She can. She said the Where's Mayu? Shouldn't she be following you around like usual, Lisa? Hey, now she follows me now. <clears throat> we all follow Lisa. Let's let's not lie. I'm not surprised, and I don't agree with it, but she must plan on skipping her break today. She can be so irresponsible at times. Eh, well, at least she's trying to make it better. Unnecessarily, though. Eh. In any case, I'll leave her be for the moment and sort things out later. Like, I can't really defend her, but I don't necessarily disagree with her. But, like, it's not necessary, and yeah, she should stop. And eat at least. Ugh. Yeah, right. You'll forget about her once you're back on the clock. Not that I can blame you. Wow. Rude. Hmm. Truth be told, I'm only going out of my way to check on Mayu because Senkara is so worried about it. <laughs> what? I don't know what you thought. I'm. Who's worried? <laughs> Suddenly, all eyes are on me. Oh dear. Why is that always the case? Why is everyone's eyes always on me? Probably because I'm the one making the video, so that... I mean, it's not like anyone's eyes would be on anyone else if you're watching my video. Fair enough. Well, I mean, didn't you notice that Mayu hasn't moved from her seat at all? I'm afraid she might be sick or something. I definitely did not have sex with her. I don't know why I brought that up. You're a genuinely good person, Senkara. Thanks, I get that a lot. I'm not sure why. The woman firmly grabs my shoulders to reassure me. <laughs> Grab your shoulders, everybody. There's a white chest. <clears throat> you are a good person. What are you? A genuinely good person. <laughs> it's okay. Whatever she decides to do, she's an adult whose choices need to be respected. She can take care of herself, but if something goes wrong, I'll certainly step in to help her. You better, because she ain't listening to me. Yeah, Mayu's Mayu. This is just how she is, and you gotta learn to respect it. Okay. Although Lisa's words sound reasonable, I can't bring myself to leave Mayu to be consumed by programming. Eh, yeah, well, kinda have to. The line moves up, and Alexis and Lisa place their orders, and she'll just get mad if you keep trying to interrupt. Soon it becomes my turn. What would you like today? Um... Oh, is this the time where I bring her food? Let me check my handy-dandy walkthrough, because... That could be vitally important. Oh, I found it quickly this time. Let's see. Miso ra- oh, of course, I could have worked that out. Come on, she loves ramen. I knew that. Stupid! Alright, miso ramen is what I would like so that I can go give it to my new girlfriend. I mean, my- I think I'll have the miso ramen this time, please. No problem. I'll have it ready for you soon. Thanks, cashier. How do I get the cashier's route? That's all I want. <laughs> 
and we head over to the table where Lisa and Alexis are situated. Before long, our food arrives. Alexis has an unagi don. Yeah, Alexis has an unagi don, and Lisa has a salad. Mood. It's par for the course on slow, stressful days like this. Eh. Yeah. Still ain't that much of a fan, I'm sorry. There's nothing out of the ordinary with my dish. It's just ramen and a miso broth. Basic and plain. I could make it at home if I wanted to, but I don't, so I won't. Oh, something diff- uh, the wrong person. Oh, something different today, I see? Unagi Don is- Unagi Don is still way better, though. It really fills you up. That's wonderful, dear, but this is not the point. It's fine. I'd rather have this. Gotta- Really attach the strings of destiny to make sure that Mayu is my soulmate. I pull the bowl towards me and begin chowing down like Naruto. It starts to... it tastes how ramen should. It's nothing special. Just ramen. Why are we going on about how plain it is? Like, what's the deal? What are we leading up to? Before I know it, I finish my meal. <coughs> I stand up just as Lisa and Alexis finish their respective meals and the three of us head upstairs together. Alright. I immediately head over to Mayu's desk to see how she's faring, but she's still sitting there in silence, as still as a gargoyle statue. Suddenly, I feel bad that I didn't think to bring her anything to eat. Hey Mayu, do you want anything for lunch? Maybe some yuzu ramen? I'll pay for you, so don't worry. I thought that was the point of me ordering the ramen was to give it to her, but okay. Dot, dot, dot. The woman doesn't react to my words in the slightest. Before I can say anything more, however, I feel a hand on my shoulder. Yeah, I thought so. It's fine, Senkara. Leave Mayu alone. What do you know? It's my girl now. Bug off. She'll snap out of it eventually. It's not the first time she's done this. Still, it's just... she's... Please, Senkara. I didn't say anything about it earlier, but you need to stop sticking your nose into others' business. And get on and get your own work done. You sound like a teacher. Oh my gosh, so annoying. Fine. Ugh. Later in the afternoon, I return to Mayu's desk. When I observe her from around the corner, she's typing away like a madwoman with no sense or purpose, just like Lando Plays did in our Super Hot video. He was so fast to... When I sneak a bit closer, I notice that Lisa's contribution to the code has been erased and completely rewritten. Rewritten. Not rewritten. Written. Mayu, what are you doing? Dot, dot, dot. Uh, yes, Sinkara? What is it this time? Why is this music playing? Okay. Mayu is redoing the same section of code, the one you wrote, all over again. I don't know what's gotten into her, but I'm worried. Lisa's face contorts with shock, shock and frustration. I combined the stration and frustration with shock and it came out as shock. Frustruction! <sighs> Again with this? Come along, I suppose. <clears throat> okay. The stern woman swings open the office door and stomps straight to Mayu's desk. Uh, I feel like I just told on her. Mayu, this is not the time to be overachieving. All weekend we've been receiving complaints about the game's bugs. They aren't even anything that should require such large rewrites. Can't you see that you're hindering our sales numbers? You need to hurry up and move on. Suddenly Mayu turns around to reply. I'm almost hurt that she responds so quickly to Lisa. Yeah, me too, come on. To be fair, she yelled at her like a teacher, so... Eh, yeah. alright. <coughs> oh, I... Her head droops below her small, delicate shoulders. Alexa's always reacted like this as well. Uh, I'm sorry. You're forgiven. Just don't make me come back here again. You listen here, young lady. Don't make her come back. Don't make her put you in time out. Lisa stomps off, leaving me alone with the brunette once more. I'm going back to my desk now. Talk to you later. Dot, dot, dot. When I receive no response, I sigh and return to my station. Can't help but wonder why her attitude towards me has changed so much since the weekend, because you keep annoying her, probably. And you get telling on her as well. That's your doing, really. That's your bad. <coughs> I suppose it's my bad, since he is me. Ugh. Work drags on. 
my productivity waning with the passing hours. My writing is messy and jumbled due to a combination of the heat, Lisa's urgent stressful demands and Mayu's strange behaviour. <clears throat> the most ironic part of the situation is that Alexis is more productive than anyone else today. Well that's, it's like hell is frozen over, yeah! <laughs> Goodness me, that's, that's bizarre. I mean, to be fair, Mayu's redoing things over and over and you keep checking on it, so it makes sense. That's how, no, that's how you know you're bad. As the sales numbers dip, and interest in the game declines, our customer support email has been receiving more and more complaints about the slow response time. Complaints that point out that the bugs are easy fixes, and should be handled as soon as possible. I mean, we're trying! While I'm in the midst of checking the game's statistics, I feel a tap on my shoulder. Hi. I'm heading out early, Sankara. Make sure everyone is doing their job on my behalf, okay? Yeah, okay. You're leaving early on a day like this? Did something happen? I have a business meeting to attend. I apologize for springing this on you without any notice, but I know you'll do great in my stead. Oh, you can count on me, bossy. I always knew I was second in command. I said it way back then, and I'll say it again. I am... Got this. I am so in charge. Just let me be in charge. Not him, but me. He's dumb. <laughs> Without further explanation, she rushes out the door. Doesn't take long for other employees to start to wonder why Lisa is absent, but thankfully no one asks me about it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just leave them all confused, fair enough. Eventually, thoughts about Mayu creep back into my mind, and I find myself at her desk for the nth time. Surprisingly, or perhaps not, she has returned to rewriting the same section of code from this morning. Oh my goodness, girl. Calm down. Mayu, you heard Lisa earlier. You need to leave that alone and move on. We need to push out that new update as soon as possible. Do you hear me? Dot, dot, dot. Without a single word, she saves her work and reaches towards her PC's power button, holding it until the machine turns off. That's not really moving on, but it's something. What are you doing? Mayu, please talk to me. We need all those bugs fixed as soon as possible. Okay, fine. Just sit and think about it. Uh, what have you done? Well, she vanished. She's a witch. The workday finally ends as for as slow as it felt. <coughs> it did a bit. It was only 20 minutes. Oh my goodness. Employees quickly begin exiting the premise, eager to rest for the night. Before I can leave, however, I know there's one more thing I have to do. Someday I will ride a motorcycle, and it will be so friggin' sexy. Mayu, it's time to go home. Mayu, can you hear me? It's time for you to leave. You can continue working tomorrow. Mayu! I grab her by the shoulders and shake the earth! And she turns around on her chair. Please listen to me, I seriously worry about you. Oh, you're so witty. If you want, we can even hang out at my place or something. Play more video games to keep your mind off work. What do you say? While I stare into the brunette's blank eyes, I can't help but notice that her complexion has become as pale as the doll's. Hmm. Because of her complexion, I would say fight through it, because she really needs to stop and take a rest, but I will check the almighty walkthrough. Yeah, that's what I thought, leave. Okay, I'm sorry Mayu, but you know what? Never mind. You can keep at it all night for all I care. Yeah, fair enough, I would be pretty annoyed too if she just kept staying silent like that. As I dash away, I hear the mindless frenzied clack of fingernails on a keyboard. Yeah, I hear them too, really disturbing. Long after I've fallen asleep, I hear a loud knock at the door. A nanny car. Oh, hello. Oh, that's pleasant. I love that smile on it. It's so sweet. It's so cute. I jump off the couch and hop over to the door. I jump off the couch and hop over to the door. I can't say that. I jump over the couch and hop over to the door to find Mayu with a wide, gentle grin. I don't know why I couldn't say that. We're gonna try it again fast. I jump off the couch and hop over to the door to find Mayu with a wide gentle grin. Okay. Woo! Had to do that. Perfection and all. You know how it is. The first genuine smile I've seen on her for a while. 
It's only the two of us. Finally, good, I finished the code. Oh, good job, sweetie. Oh, I thought someone just got slapped out of existence. Suddenly, it's like completely normal. She passes out right in front of me. Her knees buckling inward. Are you okay? Mayu! I drag her inside my apartment and lie her on the couch. Oh my goodness, girl. Jeez, I wake up, shower, and put on my work clothes. Alright, well, we'll save it for there. Mayu sessions are quite short, but convenient save points, so I gotta do it. I'm afraid, I just, I gotta do it. Hmm. She's a character, right? But so far, what they've shown doesn't seem like they're gonna ruin her, to be honest. I quite like everything so far, even like her passing out. Like, I don't like it, of course. Don't. Don't do that, eat, stay healthy, and all, but, you know, it's not going to put me off. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Especially Andre. You were excited about it, and then you were concerned because of what happened in Luisa's ending, so, what do you think now? Think it's going to be different? Think it's going to be okay? Let me know down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and if you made it this far... I can only assume you did. Sorry if my commentary is a bit off. I feel like it was. It might just be me. Why not? But, you know, I'm tired. It's been a while. Like, I know it's only been a couple, a few days that I haven't recorded, but it feels like it's been a while and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Which is not good, but I'll be right back into it as soon as I can. Don't you worry. It'll be quick. Just like riding a bicycle. You just like zoom, get into it. That's immediately though. So a little slower than a bicycle, but you know what I'm trying to say. Keep calm. Stay hydrated. Until next time. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Vincent Kara, and until next time. See ya. I missed you guys. This has been great. Love you all.